Uh huh. That's right. You got the little. Uh, Are you showing your light down there for me pack. again? We'll take pictures of this. <laughs> I like the idea of the one board. Mm -hmm. Everything's held in there. It slides right out, left enough wire in there so I can uh -huh. pull it out without yeah. having to turn, disconnect everything. Okay, so you can this one's out. On the board. Nice. Now what kind of sound system are you using? Uh, Arduino and the V Music 2. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but... Uh, so how no, many sounds? no, that's fine. That's perfect. <laughs> How many sounds do you have? Um, like 20, I think. You just hit a button and it just keeps pulling random sounds mm -hmm. out? Okay, gotcha. Yep. yep. Unfortunately, with computers, you can't, uh, it, there is no such thing as random. So what I did, I learned this technique to uh, actually have the, pa have the random number pulled from an analog pin. Okay. So it just uses the, any RF interference it picks up uh, in the air <laughs> yeah. as, it, as it's to determine its uh, random level. Oh, jeez. And just cycles through uh, ran, uh, between 1 and 20. That's hey, awesome. look at this. This is... That's a piece of board. That's wire. No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> the way it's... This is the way you will need to go. <laughs> so it's one of the that way you don't have to patch as much. That's the V-Music 2, yep. I like it. Without the firmware update. I never updated the firmware on it. How did you figure all this out? <laughs> That's what I a got. Lot of reading. A yeah, lot of reading. It's all in the forums. This is the uh, cheap 6-channel uh, PlayStation controller that yep. I found on the internet by chance. I was just looking up uh, game game controllers to see. Okay, no, that's what I need to figure out. That Brian part. Brian Bisman's got his me? setup. Yep. Yeah. I've got one sitting over there. Now, how you hard can, is that to hook it up to do that? I it's mean. real easy. But the mistake a lot of people are making re uh, that I've been reading about is this red wire here. That's that's five volts. When you hook when you hook up to a device like this, like a speed controller, mm -hmm. it uh, the five volts come out of it into it, mm -hmm. and I'll fry it. The f that red wire is meant to power a servo. Oh, they're going wrong. With yeah, it. and a device like this is designed to to like power this off of it, but this isn't your standard uh, radio receiver. And so. what brand is this? Uh, that's the um, that's a Sabertooth. Sabertooth. Two X twenty five. So if we want to, if I want to make one like that and make a remote control, I mean, if I bought all the parts and stuff, and we, could we ever get together and kind of show me how to hook that stuff? Oh, up Oh yeah, somewhere, wasn't you know? someone going to yeah. do that today, or was that Brian? Yeah, I, I think that was Brian. Was Brian was, <laughs> Brian was like, how you guys had a wire. I like this <laughs> It's a good thing I showed up. So you're the next in line. <laughs> yep. You just need like a 6 to 8 volts for that thing. So I have it hooked up independently. Built my own uh, volt, volt regulator. Oh, yep. Just the RC part about the sound on that. Uh -huh. I mean, what all would you need to get and uh, how much would it cost? To, uh, to just you guys to, got enough light, you need excess light. Oh, well. For, uh, for just the feet or for everything? Well, to make the dump, all I want to do is make the head turn and the thing move around. Ah, you, well, you need uh, a speed controller like the Sabertooth. You, depending on the motors you have, you don't have to get the uh, 25 amp one. You can get like the 10 amp, the 12 amp one. That might okay. work. Either. Then you have another speed controller for the dome, so it works independently. Uh, I have this one connected to the first two channels. There's an arm there. I know. I see. Okay. And that's